Saddle. So back in we the saddle. back. Back in the saddle. So 58 days cool. clear of Ida. The NO is getting back to some semblance of NO normalcy. Some of us. So, um, see, it get me every time, bro. And Wu told he warned me. He was like, yeah, they, he ready to go. I was just going to be local. I was just going to be local, and we're going to get to local. But I told y'all, on a national, federal, pot, Democrats is hoes. Everybody's showing <laughs> their true colors. And the true color, them motherfuckers white first, period. Wait, wait, wait. Period. Who they call out when they needed somebody to come court the black vote? Who they call out? I don't know. Wait, who they, who they call out? I don't even know what you're talking Who they call I don't out? Know what you're talking about. They call old Bill Summit Slim out. Him and Bruce Springsteen doing interviews. These niggas together. got a pot like, like they, me and you. <laughs> oh, Bill Summit these Slim. Niggas, son. This, these niggas got a podcast. Son. So. Well, as soon as as soon as it it, it feels like the numbers and interests are slacking off, they call him out, and he's like the the Mariano of of the 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 political scene. Like you know, he he has to come out and rejuvenate people's interest in this political process when the process ultimately bears no tangible benefits for the people Period, who though. they are trying to generate Do this energy you from. Know no I'm tangible over benefits. Here, I'm on the way to the undisclosed location, you know, in my multiple modes of transportation to security take to get post, out here. Security posted up. And um, security posted. I'm listening to NPR and these motherfuckers really talking about nigga hit me with the is is one and a half trillion um Worse in the sense that it's gonna do more damage than the three and a half bill because if they pass it, trillion, the regular white people gonna feel like they ain't get nothing. Like that's how that's what they setting it up. So they're gonna be like, yeah, we passed the stimulus shit and it helped basically some niggas out, but because it ain't helped enough white people. That no shit will actually be the L Is if no they go? pass the 1.5 trillion. So no now go? they really think about fuck it, Entry fuck it, door. and we can't help enough. See, I'm going. I I personally am. Uh, I I cease to be amazed by the bait and switch and the the pure pile of tricks that are employed one to to literally like rob people of their votes while they're standing I, no, there looking gonna, at them like gonna, you're right no, right in right in your face right in front of you blatant plain exposed naked um uh unobstructed um, um, what else? What other words we can use? Um, um, just, just right in front of you, people rob you blind of your vote, and then it's participatory. They get you to play a part, an active role in the process that will rob you of your vote. And it's like how, how do the masses continue to just like? How, I don't understand. I don't. I, I don't have, get it, bro. I, don't I get have it. words to say about the it. the debt ceiling. Debate. I have. It's not even debate. That's we're that's not even politics. talking about real I have, money. Not even, not even real. We not, we're not even, even real talking though. About real not money. Nothing. <laughs> nothing ethereal about this. Nothing. Nothing visceral. Oh shit. So then <laughs> hit him with the you God. let the uh, old ass rich white man from the poorest state in the union. Be like, nah, son, we not about to do this because cold. Fuck your cold, nigga. Wait, wait. When the last time has that been the primary energy source that they, that that fuels anything in this country? We still too heavily relying on it. I won't say true colors, them motherfuckers white first. Heavy, heavy reliance ain't does no not equate blue, to dominance. Ain't no blue, ain't no red. 
white first. What is period? It? And so so and it's in, still a, in a previous in a previous pod on a previous pod yes. we talked about the, the, last the gas, we we talked about the experiment and it being in flux for a certain group of people. So now we understand that if every level of power, be it, you know, like the, the, the legal realm or it be how laws are created and enforced and implemented, they all are intended to serve one purpose and one purpose only. So I also heard they have a new chief of something. I think she a white lady, but first LGBT alphabet openly. Whatever, she in charge of election security, and she was like, "Yeah, we planning, nigga, just run up in a ballot box, like just run up in a polling station, and just hit it." What we do? What we do? Like she feel like this about to happen. She feel like so. I, again, they recognize is over the gerrymandering. I won't hit on because you know it's happening, and and see this is where niggas piss me off at. We going in Louisiana. We have six districts. All right. Twenty percent. I think they say about twenty percent, or a third of our state, thirty percent, is black. All right. Right. So even just off top, a third. Right. Even if you could find five, ten percent more white people, you know, white people throwing there, who liberal or Democrat, whatever. Right. That's tipping on. That definitely two should be three, right? Right. These niggas holding the motherfucking press conference and the seance and the rain dance and the party. <laughs> ACLU, NAACP, Urban League, and all that, right. begging these white people to not to gerrymander the shit so Louisiana can have at least two Democratic seats. What kind of... That's not how this goes. That's, that's, that's not how this works. What that's, is this? That's not how this works. Who though. you doing this for? That's not how this works. Though. Who you doing this for? Who are you doing this for? Like to quote the lady on the Geico commercial. That's not how this works. That ain't, no. That's not how any of this works. But you, you literally begging on TV like a little hoe. Begging no. So you got you got no leverage. Hold you got hands no, you, and you, everything. You, you got no ground to stand on. You like you got no spine. I mean, but but it, it's but it seems to be. Man. It seems to be that when you see. That that capital D inside of the parentheses behind Them somebody's name. Th- that's souls. probably what it means, or it means don't have no backbone, or you know, don't expect me to do shit for you, or you know, or even worse, don't expect me to do what I'm saying I'm gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Or don't don't respect me to remember you when I get in office. Like like that's that's unfortunately. It's, it's all negative connotations it, it, attached to on being. On another podcast, I talked about we we fuck ourselves over. And again, I I, I call go us. With that. I call us with the Democrats, right? right? But starting the negotiation, where do these white people want us to start? Like basically, bitch, we starting the negotiation at rank ballot voting. I think every state rank ballot voting. Mm-hmm. If y'all racist motherfuckers in y'all little one corner of the state want to be represented, all y'all need to vote for that motherfucker first. And he right. might slip in there at number six. That's enough. Right? But no. This, though, these niggas begging on TV. Begging, not threatening, not demanding. It's a comfortable posture begging, for them. It's a, it's a comfortable. really is no fight taking place nothing so you know like that that's why it 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 doesn't even it doesn't even strike their conscious wrong to be seen in a, yeah. in a in a in a public setting like groveling for something that they should be like using all of the legal and political 
good. Like, man, using all of them levers. That's because I what I don't understand is, and look, I I never claim to be the most politically aware person. I mean, I'm I'm I'm, I'm I know a little something, right? But I ain't the most politically aware person. What I don't understand is how is it that the same levers. And, and, and laws and statutes and policies that Republicans use to stick a foot up people's ass, them things, they, 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 either, they either fall off the law books or they not in, no. they not on the pages that no. Democrats read or like because they in a different they language. they white first. These Democrat motherfuckers, they white first. Period. But I'm, but I'm, Period. I'm, 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 I'm speaking about like the absolute value of doing what the law said you could do. Like the absolute value of it. Like I'm, I'm trying to control for. What's the absolute value? White. Period. Uh-huh. We white. We understand <laughs> where we need to start the negotiation from. Yeah. <laughs> to make sure this white thing. But but even even, even the Remains white even official. the white Democrats. They, yeah, well, that's what, exactly what even, I'm talking but about. They, they that's even, exactly what I'm talking about. They even have the same like great. I wasn't back talking posture. about Republicans. Like I'm talking about Democrat white I'm, people. But, white black first, black period. ones too. The black ones too. But the, but but uh, I'm just going. I'm just going to cast an aspersion on on the the Democrat. The Democratic Man. Party, right? Man. Representative, elected officials who, who who align themselves with that party. They just seem to have a bent back posture that it's like a it's bent everything over is, posture. It's like everything is is Not they have to back. they gotta be they, 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 they have to posture. start from the servitude posture. Like they, like they gotta start there. They can't they can't come into the room swinging and then be like, oh, it ain't a fight. I let me back yeah. down. The now they come into the room like hoping and praying like there's not about to get a fight and they'd already got slapped in the mouth three four times like that that is what i just it just it, it boggles me and it burns me up because i'm like may, maybe i just don't understand politics enough you to so see what to no. see why and it's and it's like but dave dave but look, dave look, but look, look, look i mean down the damn ticket down the damn party you might have one or two who might raise their voice and fight a little bit, and even the the the, the Democrats who don't say nothing, they're looking at them like like they're in church with the church finger, like shh, shh, shh. you're not supposed to speak that loud. Like what? Like how how are they all submissive? No. How are they all subservient? And again, how do they approach every negotiation as if they just don't want to get their ass kicked, as opposed to being the one to to do some ass kicking for a change? The Democratic Party, <laughs> and when I say Democratic Party, I mean white people like. Pelosi and Schumer and Manchin and Cinema, Robinette, they in a place right now where they still white. And this whole white thing, the tide is turning. Mm-hmm. So within the party, they recognize we didn't let way too many white people slip away. Like you can't even believe in God and be a Democrat no more. Like that's how the Republicans got white people feel. If you believe in God and you're a Democrat, you're going to hell. That's the kind of level they playing on. So, so one, middle class and all that. The Wise man all said that. propaganda is real. Look, <laughs> you can't be about nothing at all yeah. that ain't first white and be a Democrat. And that's what a Democrat said. And then on the other side, they should have never gave you niggas money. Like niggas is elected. The wise man made that quote. They too. got they we they got diversity, actual diversity within a party that does not approach life with a white male centric view. Right. Period. But unfortunately, those those people, like they just don't seem no. to find or execute the 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 power wielding put. Disposition often enough. It's like you ne- if you see it, they it's the it's the readout from the meeting where they kind of yeah. you know what I'm saying let their nuts hang out in the meeting with with five people in the room. But when they come in front of the masses, you know what I'm saying it's like you know yes sir. You so know, what yeah. I the, and that's fuck, that's man? my thing and I, that's where I'm at. Where is it? They got 435 motherfucker two eight two twenty or whatever um, Democrats. Who is the nigga who about to step up and call somebody a hoe? Period. 
the Republicans got 25 people who they, will stand up and call everybody first of a hoe. All, they call it each other a hoe to make sure well, that the world knows who's the best. Make sure it's understood. Nigga, in the yeah, state that. of the union telling Barack, you lying. Where's the Democrat? Son, son. Wait, 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 wait. Look, look. I got chastised by my people because during uh, uh, 45 State of the Union, I asked, okay, so if it was cool for somebody, wait, 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 if it was cool for somebody to stand up and holler, you lie, to a president who probably ain't, wasn't really lying about shit, like he's, you know, he's kind of squeaky clean. So if it was cool then, then it's got to be legit for somebody to stand up and yell, you lie to somebody Period. who's probably lying. Like, oh, Pelosi, whole ass. She want to tear up the speech man, and all that. that Bitch, gonna do shut it down. This is your house. This is your house. And you let this nigga stand right You had to you. invite Bitch, him. You had to adjourned. invite him. You had to invite adjourned. him. Adjourned. Bitch, it's over. Adjourned. As soon as he was saying good morning. And if it's it's over. It's over, man. Holla. <laughs> Adjourn. Go home. And no, I wouldn't have told him no off the rip. Because I want the whole you gotta, But see, you got, you got to embarrass that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I want you dabbing niggas see, off and everything That's the problem. Here. Like, Bitch, there's, there's nobody, there's nobody who aligns themselves oh. with the, who will have that level of so, if the offense has to be public and for the world to see, then the atonement should be just as public. Them niggas so hoes. If, so, so if so if they if they can use the state of the union as a platform to disrespect <laughs> this man, then the very same platform, the state of the union, can be used to defend the all of the institution and the. Oh, 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 hand over the heart, all that stuff. Like, like you got to use the same platform. Yo, like, man. but that all is white that bitch. is never. You wear all white so you can understand me. I don't understand shit y'all doing. That's never in the. That's I don't never in the play that. Shit y'all doing. Never in the playbook. Never, never. And that that's why it is so hard to to say you align yourself with the Democrats. I say I caucus with the Democrats. That's that, I'm I use vote the on word. Democratic issues. I vote. I, I vote on democratic issues. But these, I might, man, yeah, these niggas is nah. some hoes. Yeah. Well, but that's 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 my that's man. my issue. That is my issue with the with the Democrats uh, writ large. Like all fuck. Of them. Even 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 some of the when you if you if you watch certain um um news channels, the the political contributors that they get on TV, like they even those people, they they it's like it's like they have there's this line that's drawn that people just know, look, if you're speaking about politics, you know, you're not supposed to cross these lines or, or speak to speak from the perspective or to the interest of certain people. Everybody else, it's cool for you to speak. You know, it's cool for us to be concerned about, you know, hate to this democratic, I mean, to this demographic, to this demographic. But when it's to another democratic, well, like another demographic, we don't talk about it. Man. Like that's, that is the problem that I have with, with people who just, Come from the democratic mindset. Like, why? Why are you so oh, submissive? Why are you? Old? Why are you so comfortable just playing everything in the background and being so meek and humble when you got people out here living lives that ain't meek and humbly kicking them in the ass? So, like, wh why can't you? And you supposedly are an elected what representative? Like these people are working hard, busting their ass day after day to try to deal with the circumstances that that shape their lives. And here you are on TV talking about we can y'all please allow can, what get out the way please just let us do our bitch. Do you think these people say please energy don't turn my lights off and energy don't turn this shit if off? Motherfucking Mike Pence or any any motherfucker with a red bent was vice president right now. Turtle man will be fucking y'all in the ass. Period. They, even even, nigga will be even doing when whatever the fuck he won't even do. when they're not even when they're not bro like these people used every trick in the book to basically tell Barack no every time he asked or proposed anything how come that same no was not an option whenever I don't like why and and so so this it's like and 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 you you 
it's always couched with the well. You have to think about what's good for the for the the Man, the, the, the longevity of the country. The people. Democrats don't want to be what they childish. Mean is Come on, good man! It's for white people. That's what the fuck they mean. They white first. Never forget that shit. Never forget that shit. Yeah. And then that shit trickle down to these motherfuckers standing in the goddamn state capitol talking about please. Just give give us two. We just want two. Bitch! What are you talking about? The, These the niggas defeated, the holy de- hands on the Capitol! The defeatist mindset. It's like you have to ascribe. Just like now, it seems like you have to ascribe to 45's theory about the outcome of the election in order to be a Republican. Period. Like that, that, that is... That you, we ain't, we not negotiating you can't on that. Run no more. We ain't negotiating on that. And at the same time, you have to have a defeated mindset. You have to approach everything from a deficit approach in yeah. order to be a Democrat. So it's like, the, the, and if you and if you don't ascribe to either of those philosophies, what where do you where yeah, do you know where to go? Bit, vote for me. I'm running. Next well, we had, well we had that so we, look, we 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 established that so a couple a couple back, shows ago. Basically, we bringing it back. Local now, so is. Let me beat this dead horse. It is not an election year for state rep, the state house or the state senate, All right? But these motherfuckers are uh, they get to redraft the districts because the census came out. Mm-hmm. Numbers say, okay, not rich or not After they stupid derp, white people. Derped some of us on the census. Yeah. That's so another kind of they're thing. saying the state is one third rich white people, one third poor white people, and one third black. And all of the blacks, again, holding hands at the Capitol, talking about it's only fair it if we get two. The that worldwide leader in sports <laughs> defines fair as a place where they judge pigs and give out ribbons. <laughs> All right? <laughs> that is how the worldwide leader in sports yeah, defines fair. Basically, that that ain't what's going on here, or right? the fucking clip. That's the <laughs> right. quote of the motherfucking day. <laughs> <laughs> That's the quote of the motherfucking day. Because these niggas, I'm like, come on, man. Come on, but but see, but okay, so look, but so you look, know what's happening though. But but what but if you know what's happening? But how how does that person be the representative for some people who are fighting in their lives but, every goddamn day? But how you, how you these people don't they they probably don't like it. They hoes, Greg, because what they don't want is to lose their little grip on power. Because if it come out. And let's say we do draw, quote unquote, fair maps. But your power is in the people. But all of the black congressional power in the state is in the people. Floating between New Orleans and Baton Rouge. Fuck it. Yeah. But one of them niggas might lose. Like, okay, they might carve that district up. And you might have a Joseph Giles situation. They scared. So who, who got that seat now? I don't even know the nigga name. Uh, some random, you know. Who got? What the fuck his name is? I, I, I Does not matter? I don't know. Didn't matter when he was in the state legislature. Don't, uh, whatever the fuck his name. I don't care. He don't do shit. The, and that, that, he not doing shit. That is the real problem. Period. But that's the real problem. But niggas in the Democratic Party, they won't hold on to that congressional seat. Because let's say it's split up. Let's say we go Uber fair and go rank choice voting. Nigga, my, nigga like Noonan, man, like might slide in there. Nigga yeah. like me might slide in there now. <laughs> they might yeah. have enough niggas in Louisiana to be like, yeah, yeah let's yeah, go with this yeah, nigga yeah, Dave right, for number right, two. Right, right, yeah, right. Let's give him a shot. Like, yeah. Let's give him a shot. We, might we, be need, serious we need somebody to raise their voice in there yeah. for a change. Yeah. I'm definitely going to put him on the ballot. Right. So now is is local election season time. 
right? I don't even know when the election is, and I'm gonna tell you why. A.T. <laughs> A.T. Latoya, she don't know. No one, the only person running against her might be Noonie Man. No serious candidates, no serious opposition. Yeah. She running around this bitch really like somebody ain't T. <clears throat> bitch, if y'all won't have Mardi Gras, I'm setting up man, piss, you might, you might piss well. test at the airport. Man, you might as well, you might as well come with your vaccination That's on up. a bead. You yeah. know, just shit on a Mardi Gras yeah. bead, man. Period. You are not deplaning. You not have no baggage claim. Them. No. Motherfucking the crew of one shot or two. What? That's, the, that, that's that, it. That's what it's about to that's be. That's it. In this bitch. If you 60, you better have your booster. The, the Do you crew, not get off this plane? The crew of one shot or two. Bitch, that's, that's all the look. Period. Bitch, bitch, which crew, one shot or two. That's that's all it's about to be. And, and they it, scared of it. Any know. festivals, none of that shit. Mardi Gras, nah. Then look, they just said the for the um the Halloween parade that 93% of the people that vaxed they up. talked was, was, vaxed, was up. vaxed up. And more than more than half yeah. of them people was from out of town. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's understood that look, don't even don't don't even come this way if people who it, want If your shit ain't legit, don't even come this way. Nigga don't really know. I mean, people who generally speaking, when I go downtown, unless it's like Monster Truck Rally or WWE in town. Most of the people that's coming here don't really subscribe to maybe either party, but they're not really close to the the forty five shit. All right. I mean, generally they come out here. They come out here to you, party. They come to get you loose. Voting that way, you still came to get loose. You you know better. <laughs> you could get like loose you vaxxed up it. to get loose. Right. Yeah. That's what. That's it's what common the, sense, motherfuckers. You think that is yeah. the only reason, right? <laughs> we vaxxed up so we could get loose, yeah. right? That's the only reason. Period. So, like, I, that that doesn't surprise me. But it's scary as fuck to these white people. I hear none guess that he's the lieutenant governor. He on, yeah, and, oh, and Jefferson Billy. Parish and them too. Oh, Billy. Jefferson Parish, and they're saying it for two different reasons, though. Let's peep. So Jefferson Parish, president, not, um, not Jefferson Parish, St. Tammany Parish. All right. None guessed her, the lieutenant governor, she was like, yeah, she can't get on the radio talking about all this reckless, you know, we're going to test people at the echo because people might not come, right? So he really recognized how much, and he was like, yeah, you know, so goes New Orleans tourism, so goes the state, which is facts. All right. You're not getting no, uh, what they call it, the Swamp Cruise in Plaquemine Parish where he from. Without all them people coming, even downtown. even though the, even though the tax revenue is not commensurate with that statement, but all right, we we'll keep going, we we'll keep going. But then St. Tammany, excuse me, he talking about she can't be popping off at the boat because everybody gonna come here. We well, can't have these niggas just out here at the yeah, parade. Nah. No I'll sir, get, not with them chiwi hairstyles. No sir, ain't gonna work. No sir, no sir, not with them chiwi hairstyles. No sir. <laughs> And everybody got a cousin in <laughs> Slidell. Yeah. Everybody got a cousin in Slidell. And, mo- and most of the city is kind of on the we slick, slick side. Slid out there. We, the, we the out there. Slid out there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if y'all talking about, hey, bitch, you talking about vaxxed up at Zulu, them niggas, they, they going to come out here? No. No. Can't tell you better shut your mouth. Yeah. We, 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 that's, that's, our, uh, that's our pressure relief. What? Yeah, you got to have that. Yeah. What? And you know, JP, they look, they bulletproof. They literally, bitch, we built our whole situation to prevent niggas from coming out here. It don't matter what y'all do. We don't even call our shit Mardi Gras, family girl. <laughs> we ain't built that shit in, that, they, don't need, they never use that term. They never say Mardi Gras. So you, so you just don't feel welcome. David, the this is That's not the- for you. This is, if you not pushing a stroller, or a wheelchair with your don't grandma. Come. This don't ain't come. for you. You ain't even heard of this the bands in these parade or nothing. <laughs> if you not a big you, truck driver, you never with heard the of these the bands. No, we don't get our this floats from the same place they get theirs from. For like it's, you, damn. This is not for you. This is family grow. <laughs> One damn. route. 
That's every different. parade, yeah. one route. That'd be long, though. Yeah, it, man, it makes sure one route. It makes sure all the JP get to see the whole up. Yeah, that that route ain't nothing to play with. And yeah. then they get the niggas the route on the West Bank Mardi Gras. What that Mardi Gras day? I like the Sunday before Mardi Gras or something. I think so. Yeah, I think nine so. top. Yeah, one route on the West Bank and no parades on the East Bank that day. The whole sheriff department out there posted. Do you have? We have two events. We have Family Grow. We got Nam Top. That's it. <laughs> two separate. Ain't no season. Two no, separate events. No, 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 sir. Oh, Not man. out here. Two separate Not out events, chill. huh? Yeah. What? Yeah, that's that's. Not out here. But that but that that go that, 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 that go to show you though, man. That 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 goes to show you. Cause she out, she, she gonna tell you. <clears throat> right, bitch. I said what I said. And if and if I gotta come walk up on I you at the ball, I'm gonna be at the airport myself. You think you a dog? Okay, you gonna be the one running the test, bitch. Huh? We got a whole app, Louisiana Wallet, bitch. Put your shit in there. I want to show yeah, I mean, test. It, I mean, it's it's understood, bro. Like if you even coming for anything, you gotta be prepared to show your status. Period. Man, it's it's Period. non it's non-negotiable. Your your status gotta be documented I, and. Some people was, you know, trying to run the the lick and get the little, you know, get your partner to get man. Yeah, get, man, they put man. man, they put numbers in the in the in the, in the system. This ain't legit, son. Man, you gotta turn around. Not for you. You, know, you, you, might as well, you don't even need to get off the plane. No. You, you could just go get back in your seat. I don't know where this plane going next, but that that's where no. you going. It's not about to be to crew of one shot or two. Yeah. But and they scared of him. And they scared of Because she know who her base is. Niggas yeah. ain't eating like white people off Mardi Gras. Niggas ain't running Blaine Kern and all that. Right. The Mardi Gras Indians gonna make their shit anyway. Right. Yeah, they don't need no They don't need money. that. They don't need none of that shit. Zulu make money the whole year. They giving away money on Mardi Gras. They damn near. That's a donation. That's <laughs> <laughs> Post up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we can make it. A donation. We doing shit all year round. Yeah. Can Trail know who our base is? Is these white people going to be hurting who own the hotels and own the restaurants? Yeah, because most of us, we work in the Yeah, because they talk, exactly. Man, they talking about all economic impact to the city. Bitch, no. That's y'all. I'm listening to the radio. Hey, you talking about, yeah, you know, we need to elect somebody that's. You know, look at white man, don't live in the city, mm. work in the city. Mm. We need to elect somebody who look out for the business interests of New Orleans. Bitch, no, it's not a business. It's a city. city. Yeah, it's a city. Just because your motherfucking ass taking the L right now, that's on you. There may be corporate interests, yeah. but it's still, it's still a that's city. That's on you. This is, this is people live here. It's people live here. Yeah. Just because you come over here to and, piss around and, and leave. People, no. people lived here before you had Period. business interest here. So. Period. Yeah. Mm. But they really, and I thought, nigga, not listen to that. I mean, I, I, I've always wondered how, you know, the, the, the city is the main tourist and, I mean, I'm be honest, like financial draw in the state, right? Yeah. So how So how is it that, you know, the the city is worked into financial arrangements with the state where the the city makes shitloads of money and it immediately Please. has to be sent to Baton Rouge and other parts of the state when it's like, I mean, it, it, it don't work like that in no other realm of the universe. No. Like, I mean, we, we we are by far the the the, the generation of all of the financial. Resources, well, not all, but most uh, a lion's share of the financial resources that supports this state, and because how we can, and as as a city, we cannot ben- reap the benefits of that. Those these resources, democratic motherfuckers, is hoes. That, Period. Let's go back to basically the topic of the show. Period. Hoes. Basically the topic of the show. Hoes. Mm. And so now you got the what? Di- what what so, district so di- council you live in? I'm in B right now. You in B? I'm in B right now. I'm in D, and now they got the at-large seat <clears throat> that Jason Williams, the new DA, and he got his own shit. Go- no. Only in the NO 
the DA is not even under investigation for tax evasion. This nigga going to trial in office on federal tax evasion charges. The DA, nigga. He taking that shit to trial. He taking that shit to trial, son. Man, say it was a tax preparer's error. It ain't my, it ain't my, that. I didn't do it. It's a tax preparer's error. But now I'm talking about like not <clears throat> under the deal, nothing, Stop you know, this. make it go away. Take work. Leave it up. Nigga, I know. I didn't do it. Take this shit to trial. Prove that I did it. I'm taking it to trial. This is what I do for a living. I'm taking it to trial. In office. So anyway. And they're getting on his ass with the crime rate and all of that. Yeah. The murder shootings going up. Yeah. Which these white people be talking about that too. And one of them white dudes on the radio called them on their shit. He was like, because all of them keep calling in, right? Mm. Oh, the crime in the inner cities, the crime in New Orleans specifically, you know, is preventing people from coming in and joining us. He was like, bitch, after it's a terrorist attack, oh, we undeterred. We not going to let the terrorists ruin our real life. The Boston Marathon happening, nigga. But when niggas selling weed and in in, in gummies in the French Quarter, or niggas start busting it in the quarter because they got in a beep, oh, nice, we scared. People not going to come. Hmm. Y'all hoes. He called him a young white dude, hmm. liberal dude. Y'all hoes. That's interesting. we been loud in all them hoes here. No, it was our country <clears throat> under terror. Memories is our way of life. But let a nigga get robbed in the French Quarter out there wilding in their phone. Or let a nigga get hustled out his his watch and his two, three stacks because he the whole thing not, you know, slipped him something. He tried, you know, oh, we gotta stop all the crime. It's people not gonna wanna come here anymore. Y'all hoes. He said it, I didn't, y'all hoes. And I agree. <clears throat> well, I the the crime in New Orleans didn't just start last week. No, and that's why month, I don't have no dog. That shit year. falling on deaf ears. It didn't just it didn't just Again, start. Jason there, Williams. There have been how many different iterations of crime prevention, crime response, crime abatement. How many different iterations of programs that have been attempted, sustained. Ended, transformed, whatever. So, so, so to 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 use that as 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 a crutch in this instance kind of seems a little little sketchy to me because the same people, it's the same city that you just got vaccinated to come get loose in. Like, so 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 how how can and I understand two things can be true at the same time, but that that shit right there that conflicts with me. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, don't, I can't, I can't stomach that. People are a lot more willing to overlook the everyday of the N.O. when other shit is That's not going dead. so, no, when other shit not going so bad, right? So, you got the Rona, you got the supply chain issue, you got whatever, you can't, whatever. You still hit that fucking pothole. The you hurricane, still drove the pothole, that. yeah. You still drove. <laughs> so you, you got all drove. that shit coming together, but it ain't, the looseness ain't loose enough to overcome that right now. So people pay attention more to it. And like no jazz fest, you know, people wasn't, I mean, yeah. So people not really, they pay more attention to, the everyday bad stuff when you don't have those cycles are good or those those something that to placate season. motherfuckers and yeah. put them back to sleep. Yeah. Uh huh. So that's that's part of what's going on. The other thing that's going on is if people they dog oh, they in on Cantrell and they in on Jason Williams because the you the little TikTok Instagram shit we don't care. That's how they feel. We don't care. We know our, our constituents been dealing with this shit every day. Right. 
Just because somebody got shot in your white neighborhood that you didn't try to gentrify, that's the neighborhood, bitch. Right. That's the neighborhood. Right. Just because you new to this and you hooping and hollering. And you just. You, I don't care. You just grew here. Yeah. You, you just flew here and the people who grew yeah. here, they, yeah, they've been they and dealing with this And the shit. first time, the DA and the mayor say, I don't care. Fuck this rash of car, whatever, vehicle burglaries and car jacks in Lakeview. Bitch, welcome to New Orleans. If you don't want that to happen, you can run to St. Tammany and all them, just like all them other white people did. That's on you. We've been living this. Right. We've been living this. But I, 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 part of me does have the, the urge to say that just because we've been living like this don't mean we're supposed to you know, I'm not we, saying we it's got, acceptable. Yeah, we should not no. be complacent about no, the sir. shit. But at the same time, we we need to be clear that this is a like a generational, long term problem. So the solution will have to be just as generational and just so probably just as long term as well. What is what I'm saying is happening is they are treating Lakeview in the French Quarter that crime problem the same as they're doing East Show. That's what it is. Period. It's, it's, and then it's white people the feel city. like that's wrong. Well, yeah, that's your, that's they your really feel like that's wrong. That's your fucking business right there. That's on you. Yeah, that's your fucking business. That's on you. That's your fucking this it's not it's not it's not a it's not a, it's, it's not a separate city. Period. You know what I mean? It's it's part it's part of the corporate limits it's, of the city. Like, the issue is a police shortage. Period. That's the issue. We're not about to send more people to your neighborhood because you feel like white rest, is more important. And shot the Fuck rest of you. the city. That's it, bitch. We don't care. Yeah. We don't care. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about you, Mercedes. Nigga got shot in East Shore right now. Yeah. Fuck you, Mercedes. Which, 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 which is much? Which is of more fuck. priority to you? Take a picture and call your insurance company, bitch. That's definitely that's what Cantrell and Jason Williams saying. Yeah. That's what I had to do. Nigga ain't going to no motherfucking calling the police behind that shit. Yeah. Put your shit in the garage. And they expect them to show up right then and there. Yeah. yeah. That shit over. Your special district for the... Fuck your special assessment. Uh, huh. Fuck that. <laughs> well, but see, the problem is that... And that's what she said. Elected. All of that money from the French Quarter is state taxes. If y'all 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 took the uh, state troopers out the French Quarter, but, fuck y'all! But, I'm not replacing that. But look that. though, but look though, when when you have that type of disposition and that's your response, then they coming at your neck. They could come all she want. That they come, nobody they about to beat her. Neck. They nobody about to beat her. Oh, of course not. They came at her neck. Of course not. Of course they not. They came at her. Which which and I, but she I'm, blew on the nigga in the hotel. Listen, that's what I'm I'm saying it for the purpose of saying. Why do these? So her constituency is the city of New Orleans. She ain't a hoe. That's what I'm saying. But listen, I'm listen, saying she listen, ain't a hoe. listen. Her constituency is the city of New Orleans, and she. I mean, she got a, you know, a very Be personable. She got a very yeah. personable disposition. She with the people. Yes. So if any of these other Democrats on a on a state or national level, so wake the fuck up. She. The, the, here, here is what whether you agree with her politics or not, whether you agree with her stance on her positions on whatever She's issues or not, shit. regardless. Respect on mine. The, that is the that is the Put that's the piece. On my name. That is the jewel right there. For, like, those, for those of y'all who don't know, I don't give a fuck how you feel. For those of y'all who don't know, I don't care because because look. The, the moment that Democrats begin to take that type of approach on a, a, a grand scale, the, the number of like people who are willing to fall by, behind and support them, is, it, that shit would explode because you got people like me and you who like, eh, waiting for somebody to come in naked with some Nike socks on, that's it. Ready? Just Nike socks on. Ready. Nothing, nothing else. 
show up with just a pair of Nike socks on. This one got the check. This one got the word Nike spelled out. And go, go. off. Yeah. Just go off. And look, I, I always take it back to this. There's a passage in the Bible where Jesus walked in the temple and did what? Flip that he flipped the table over. So guess what? If Jesus could do it no. in the right in the defense of righteousness, why can't y'all do it, man? Like, why can't you man. walk in there and just flip some shit over? For those of y'all who don't flip know, some shit over. So Cantrell been been going off. Like when COVID first hit, she really hit him with the whole press conference. Bitch, I said what I said. Man. It's 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 shut down. I said what Not I said. Not only that, she hit you with the Birdman hand rub. Yeah. Bitch, I said what I, I said. said what I yeah, said. Yeah, with the Birdman hand I rub. Ain't stutter. Like she got the hip man standing <laughs> over there. If you ask me this one more time one more and I again. give him the signal, if I just give him the head nod, you. So that's how it yeah, started. Yeah. <laughs> so then I think it was after that, they hit it with the whole, when she was gambling, getting her up, gambling, whatever. Like, she ain't, her. like she ain't human. So right. nigga thought they was about to embarrass her. Man, she, at the at the bar man, in the checked, hotel, man, right? Swanky little man, bar. Man, she checked him. Blew this nigga out, bitch. You said Bur- my name. You ordered this. Point, man, damn it! Pointed to the nigga. Man, you Turn ordered your this. camera phone on. I'm about to blow on man, this nigga. You ordered this. Man. Man. You said you said my name, so you placed the order. And I Uber eated this motherfucker this right to man, you. Come over there thinking he about to embarrass her and all, shame her. Man. man, hold my drink. At that point, she hold just she should have went. She should have went. Got tatted. What? Oh, you dumb. <laughs> Cross up for here and just stood there and looked at him. Now. Like blue and now so cold, like nobody was talking about. She was, uh, you know, not. Political. Yeah, I raised my voice. Yeah, cause and I got this nigga came at I my got throat, close I to you and out. raised my voice to make sure you could hear what I had to say. The only thing she should she when she walked off, she could have just hit him with. You heard me. Then in the press conference, she <laughs> hit him with the. Nah, I I ain't see the video. Cause it was on. They, they had the camera phone going. She got a press conference. She was like, "Man, yeah, you think that blow she down was like, wasn't what? clear as fuck on that camera phone? It was." She was clear. like, "No, I didn't see the video. I was there. Man. I blew this nigga out. Man, she he had came the... at my throat. Man, I don't the... care what y'all say." Man, she had a whole y'all saw the video. Shovel in. She had a shovel in. You his you see what happened? This nigga tried to come at my throat. I blew this nigga down. Oh, play with me? Sidebar. Shout out to black women. Yeah. Sidebar. Shout out black women. Just wanted to do that. Just just had to. Man. Man. What? So then, all right, so. That's why nobody running against her. What you going to say? So look. So so, blow you down. So why don't we have, you know, like, like they they make fun of the, what they call them? The squad. Mm -hmm. Uh, 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 Ilhan, Ocasio-Cortez. Uh, Presley and um, um, Presley uh, what's the what's the other sister name? Um, uh, that's uh, the problem um, because they don't go off enough. Th- that that's what I'm saying. They don't go off enough. So so wait so so wait so it's clear I'm, that it's yes. the squad. So you playing with us? Yeah. Like it, it, th- there should never be a time Period. when they should stop talking. Like it should there should never be an issue where the four of them. Don't just stand firm and just tell her. Like if y'all want to go, 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 man, go. If y'all that nigga right there, who hope. the reason he ain't voting for it is because X, Y, and Z. Basically, that nigga basically. hope. Basically, because I mean, I mean, it's like, what are we talking about? For 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 you to so 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 for for people to elect you to represent them, and in in learning who you are. They come to find you to be a firebrand, right? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to shut my mouth. If I see injustice, I'm going to speak. I'm going to blow it down until it's right. If they see that and come to learn that about you and elect you and You'll send you lose. to represent you, never lose. how in the hell do you get to the elected seat and be quiet? How? And But, but look. They, they, look when it's when it's when it's Greg running against Dave. Shit, man, let me tell you about Dave, man. Shit, uh, look, I know this about Dave. When it's Greg, Dave running against, and let me tell you about Greg. But see, when we get to the time to represent all of the people, um, you know, well, you know, we have to do things to, you know, it, these things are hard. Yeah, these things take time. Oh, what really? The fuck your oh, time? For real? For real? It's hard. They hard. They wasn't hard for everybody else. 
It wasn't hard when you was doing it for everybody else. So how come you can't do it for the people Man. who sent your ass to the seat? That that's the shit that pisses me off. And you know, people say, "Man, you ought to run." Man, listen to me. I'm gonna run. He gonna run my ass out of town, man, right? Because by the time, time. My town. man, look, because by the time I make it clear that the people that I serve are the people who you are in, you have intentionally tried to keep out of these conversations yeah. and from these tables. That's the only people I'm coming to represent. I'm not coming to represent the people who well to do. Take I'm, that ain't. I don't. I don't. I don't give a fuck about those people's interests because they give more than enough fucks about it. I'm talking about the people who. Whose vote really means something to them? Like that, that those are the people I feel like you gotta have. You gotta have some, some like some agency too, bro. And it just it, it don't happen. That, that shit dog. don't happen, bro. It's not even that, dog. It's it's that I I really feel where you're coming from with the representative politics, the representative. You you are you are an elected representative. How about you just start not being a hoe? Let's start there. I don't care who you represent. Republicans will come out and say, we don't want these fucking niggas crossing the border, these Mexican, all but, of Mexican. But that, but we that's don't want to vote. But that's because they represent people who made it clear that we, that's their attitude. But they coming out and saying it. That's though. the point. So so, so they'll they're bring it to, so look, don't tell me the reason I can be, I don't give a fuck about how the politics sees the shit that I say is because the people who sent me here said the same. Matter of fact, they, they, said, they said worse shit. I just cleaned yeah. it up. I just cleaned it up because it's on 12 o'clock news. I, I, if I said what they said, <laughs> the FCC has shut your whole shit down, right? So, 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 so be glad that I got the suit and tie on saying it because if I came with the fucking flannel, no. with the fucking, uh, uh, with the camouflage yeah. hat on, bitch, you'll run me out. Yeah. Are you, are we really having this conversation? But you're not about to run me out of here because okay. I'm, I belong. But that's the problem. I belong. They, they are representing the people. They, they are at least vocalizing the attitudes, yeah. the wishes of the people that they represent. And, so and why in the fuck do De Democrats not have the same posture? One, they white first. Where are we going back to that? White or Jason? Yeah. So we, we already know what time that yeah, is. So, that. Yeah. yeah. So then the city council. Definitely got to go back to that. Oh, now man. they got, man, and I'm I'm not about to go in on them because I've dealt oh, with this too. Man, man, man. man I'm man, still man. dealing with man, it. Man, if man. you're in that life, you know it's an it's a everyday situation. Yeah, man. This nigga Earl in the parking lot at Brothers, dog. <sighs> Earl, sleep in the parking lot at Brothers. Man, this was, man. what, six months after he then spent the bin right on the other side of that bridge and, by the and lows wrecked something and, in the, and wrecked and ran into somebody. Man, I, just, I, just, I just pray the brother get the help that he need. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah. it, it, was, it, was, it was, like, refreshing to hear brother, you know, like, come to terms and say, like, I got an issue you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to deal with it. You said that the last time. That, and I was I was about to say, I was like, but that yeah. that was that that sound like that's his defense mechanism. So I just I just hope brother get the help he need, that, man. Because uh, brother, him as a man is more important than him as a as yeah. a as a political servant, man. That shit is not important. Like him getting his life, you know what I'm saying, getting control of that shit. That's the But look how it's playing out though. He didn't endorse one of the opponent, his opponents. But His she opponent, said that there yeah. was a reason, there was a, there was a strategic reason why we did that. And he, they running against his political family or house or whatever. Because all them, him and Morrell come from the same, you know, same mm -hmm. shit. Mm -hmm. Right? Ben been in the game. Like one of these red nigga. And that's another reason why they hate Cantrell. She, she didn't beat the red nigga candidate. Straight up. Mm. She didn't whip Charbonnet. Mm. And the red niggas feel some kind of way now. The whole, this, she really out here. Right. Like, she don't buy into nothing. But that's, again, need to hit up. She don't that's give true. a fuck about nothing. That's true. So, Morell running against Brassett. Now, he out. Now, do you go red nigga? Do you go white woman? That's essentially what's that. Because I don't really. I saw the debate. I can't remember who the no, it was what I said. It was and then it's this other random white man talking about the shit the gentrifiers be talking about. Which so I ain't and I gave him a time like, okay. <laughs> but you know, he talking about shit that don't resonate at all. Um, so it's them too. <laughs> 
So right. it's not the day Kyler now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, no. Why, it, yeah. So that's whatever. So white woman, red nigga click. I'm torn. I don't know. I don't know where to go. So I don't like, know where to so, go. So look, look. The, what always saves me. I might just vote for Brad Set. So just what off I, the rip. He's going to be the bad. What always <laughs> saves me in elections <laughs> is I vote on issues. I don't, I, don't, I don't vote on candidates. I don't give a shit if I went to high school with you and marched in a band with you. But if I don't, if your issues don't ring my bell. But they talking about shit that they either can't do. Oh, which is which is me. the bulk of most political yeah. plat, uh, so platforms. So the only thing that they could really do that they're talking about is this short-term rental ban, right? Like redoing Fuck the law, the basically Airbnb's the shit. Airbnb yeah, regulation yeah, yeah. shit, right? Whatever they wind up deciding, I'm still gonna be fucked over. That shit don't have nothing to do with me. Yes, I would like to put a short-term rental on the market. Right. But the shit they hashing out is about, okay, you can't do it in the French Quarter and in the Lower Garden District. That's really the law. You cannot do it at all in the French Quarter and the Lower Garden District. Integrity, historic, all that. But you could do it every other neighborhood. So fuck Treme. They not historic. You could just do it there. Can't do it in by water. Yeah, like yeah. <laughs> but that don't have nothing to do with. So all of the issues, the quality of life, shit. They just saying fuck my neighborhood. They ain't even talking about that. Right. I can't do that shit in Pontchartrain Park or in Saint Rock. Well, they don't give a shit about you know, the people. I, I, I could, you know, I can have it there, but they're not worried about the integrity of my neighborhood. Right. The historic character or my quality they, they of life. They don't. They don't see that shit. This random that fucking shit don't touch mostly them. white people coming in town, tearing up the neighborhood and shit like that. Yeah. Rab- rabble rousing and all that. Yeah. Waking the neighbors. Up late party. But that shit, that's shit. cool. You can do that shit in Treme and St. Rock. That's this no. We can't afford to, that to happen in the French Quarter, in the Lower Garden District. It'll ruin the character of the city. Fool! So that, that shit don't mean nothing to me. That's the really the biggest issue. And then picking up the trash. Bitch, pick up the trash. But Dave, some, why, why is this difficult? Somebody sat in the room and represented people from Treme, from Train Park, who had no problem with that law being put into place. Oh, I know. So, I know. So, so I'm only saying that I'm going to take a stab in the dark and say that some of the people, most of the people who were in that on that side of the ledger, might have been Democrats. And they are li- oh, everybody in New Orleans is a Democrat. So, so I was just I was so, just, I wasn't trying to I wasn't trying to divulge the location. They, I was just trying to again, say again. They <laughs> are, this dig, is I what was, they debating. I was just and I'm to say. <laughs> I'm squarely on <laughs> ain't TK Trail T. Cause they trying to say, oh, the law is this, the law is that. It just needs to be enforced. It just needs to be enforced. Man, well, guess who in charge of enforcing it? Cantrell. And she said, I don't care about your fucking integrity, historic a, a of wise, the neighborhood. A wise man once fuck said. Fuck your neighborhood. Fuck your couch. Basically. That what a wise man once said. Fuck right? your couch. <laughs> and she said with a straight face. And they were like, hold up. You, you serious, though? You really serious? Oh, you really man. not about to... Stop people from doing Airbnbs in the, the lower garden. You know where this, this at, right? Bitch, I don't care. It's in the city of New Orleans. Which, I don't which, give which a I got single some fuck. All spices over. She right? slow it down and everything. Not all spices, all spices. I got she some said, all spices over. The yeah, I was sending an email, the text message, the out city. to the press conference. The potholes. I don't give a fuck. Camera lights. Fucking. Y'all can campaign on whatever solution y'all talking about. I'm not like sending nobody over there grounds, to that. write a ticket for a motherfucker doing an Airbnb 
on on Frenchman. I might fuck your couch. I might show up at the Airbnb and have a drink with him. Period. <laughs> That's why my people stay when they come to town. And then tell them let's hit the treehouse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And that's what I'm saying. I, uh, this literally might be the first election, oh, man. I, like the first race I don't cast the ballot in. I got to see if it, it, Noon the man running against Cantrell. And I'm like, he, he picked the wrong battle. He should have went to the council at long. He picked the wrong battle. Man, man. But yeah, though, they man, talking about shit I give literally no fucks about. Yeah, like the all, trash. All, all of them races going to be. You can't do nothing about the trash unless you say. You about to put that you shit in your car? To, you about to ride shotgun with Sidney Torres and y'all hitting it. I don't want to hear what you talking about. <laughs> you ain't about to do shit. You ain't about to do Dude, shit. You're to be hanging off the back of <laughs> yeah! the right beat on. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. What? With the with the vest over the with the orange vest over the white beater? With bitch greasy Tams on. I do that. Unless you talk about doing that, I don't want to hear what you got to oh say about the trash. <laughs> right there, try hear none what? of that shit, say You got no comment. Nothing. I don't want his shit you got to say. You ain't fully invested. Like the contract and all oh, this shit. and that. Oh, man. I don't want to hear nothing you got to say. Nothing. None of that shit, son. Man, and that's literally, oh, I watched the whole oh, debate. Man. This is the kind of shit they talking about. That's crazy. But look, the 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 city is in like is in position to really rebound fully from the storm and all of this other the shit. The issue is still in doubt. Out so <laughs> I wanted to go up. Yeah. It, it's so the, I'm we, the, we in position. We are in position. We got some, you know, some nice things coming down the pipe. The, you know, city's Starting to see the population start to regenerate. So look, <laughs> all all of those issues will be smoothed over. <laughs> will be it's, everything will be fine. So just allow the leaders to continue to lead. I'm going to be polite that's, with this one because I I have a connection to Punch Train Paul. That's what they say. They are Amen. investing in the, what they call the gray and what they get the gray infrastructure. Where they try to manage the storm water and they planting the trees uh-huh. out there, you know, LA lighting, Green Corps doing some shit, yeah. generational wrongs, trying to lower it up. I'll take it. I'll take it. But Gentilly, Saint Rock, Treme, Lower Nine. Now you talking about a thousand houses? Maybe not getting too fucked up. Doing us so okay, right? I mean, but but it typically fares kind of well, though. So you know, with the economic driver, right? So we a city built. Up, I mean, we're a port city, right? Pimping, prostitution, gambling, markets, all that shit. That's what we do. Tour it like that's, that shit. That's what it is, right? Off the water. So <sighs> nobody's taking their eye off the ball with that. But Cantrell holding niggas accountable, bitch. I'm not about to preside over no super spreaders. Like, we're going to do it. I know what the main thing is. I'm keeping the main thing the main thing. But I'm not about to be loose. I'm still a black woman of a certain age. I have a brain. Not at West Jeff. Operate. No, no. (laughs) 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 So, uh, we going to catch y'all up on that later. (laughs) <laughs> so, this is with that jump. so, so, then I hear Cindy, um, what's the name? Cindy with the hood one, the Vietnamese one. She, well, Cindy Wynn. Hood. Yeah. She represented the yeah, East, Yeah, so right? me and Cindy was in the Kellogg's fellowship she together, man. hood hood. Yeah, it's understood. Like, Cindy don't play that I shit, don't, man. I don't think anybody could really imagine what, like, a hood nigga who Vietnamese sound like from the N.O. But, like, get her up on YouTube. She hood. Play with Cindy. Yeah. Like fuck, fuck YouTube. Man. Play with Cindy she, and see what happened. That's, that's all you got to do. Y'all need to nah. get her. She was the one. Who but she passionate about it. But look, though. But look. She, she represent the people 
who she represents. Yes. Yeah. She she brings she their knows. interest to yeah. the table all the yeah. time. So what you Every gonna tell day. her? What you gonna tell her? So this thing in the East. So I think big picture, right? And I was talking to some cats who live outside the city who make a little like got cheese enough to be like, oh, that's my second home or investment right. property, right. and they end up, you know. And it was like, man. It's prime time now because everybody then watched basically second Katrina mm-hmm. and the NO, the levees worked, the pumping system worked. So, whereas they might have been hesitant before, I feel like it's, it's the lick. It's now. go it's time. Lick. Yeah, it's the lick. And property values rising, but they ain't rising out of the reach of a nigga who lives in San Francisco. Or New York. And see, that that's the thing. That, like, they could kick like, that cheese like down at, like nothing. But as the population is growing, it's it's not it's not growing f- from locals' expansion. Oh, no. It's, it's growing from people who have means because the city is like, yeah. man, they're pricing motherfuckers out there. Yeah, you, you have, have cheese to come if you ain't Yeah, if you ain't got the cheese, then look, you know, this is a tourist tra- attraction for you. Find that, your way out this motherfucker. That bodes well for the main thing. Bet. But what she was talking about, because you know it's happening in the East, Mishu coming back. They trying to put the first woman on the moon. And that shuttle vehicle, whatever, they building that in Mishu. Mishu, yeah. So that's that's really what popped off the East to begin with, like 40 years ago. Right. You know, the Mishu, the NASA NASA facility. Yeah. And now they talking about you know, the plan for Jazzland with this transportation and logistics hub and all. Who ultimately got the bid? Because I'm, I'm Troy Henry. And that's what, exactly, exactly. That's exactly where the fuck I wanted to go because they was talking about Punch Train Park with Wendell Pierce. So I, you, we, you, we, we, got, know we know got, what happened yeah, in Punch yeah, Train yeah, Park yeah. after Katrina yeah. with Troy Henry and Wendell yeah. Pierce. Now he all of a sudden back in the game trying to develop land and Punch the Train Park, Wendell Pierce, and now they didn't gave Troy Henry the rights to redevelop jazz. And that's exactly what the fuck, that's how I feel. The issue is more than in doubt. And, you know, my wife was telling me, yeah, um, it'd be nice when, because it's supposed to be got the water park and the sports complex and all that. And she was like, yeah, you go coach, you know, you go out there with your nephew and all. I'm like, if that shit built by the time my nephew bringing his kids to the park, I'll he got I'd be surprised. I'd be surprised. And the no, though is so. And they talking about two of them. I don't even know what one transportation logistic hub look like, or what that even mean. But they're gonna throw, and it was like, okay, that's gonna fund development of. The amusement and recreational space, the indoor water park, and all that, right? So that all that's phase two from the get go. So this transportation and logistics, uh, they don't talk about how many jobs. They don't talk about how well the jobs pay. And then she talking about, yeah, we're gonna do two. We're gonna do two. So one gonna be at Jazzland. And these niggas couldn't close the deal on all 400 acres. They only got 300 acres. And like my brother be telling me, that 100 acres going to fuck up the whole shit. Everything. Off top. Because y'all can't do nothing and without this. That's the Troy Henry. Y'all going to need this. Drew Brees and them ain't go away. She trying to piece them up to go to the Sam's Walmart daddy on, on the service road between Reed and Crowder. Two. See, yeah. So she going hard, but come on, man. Two of something nobody is like, and they're talking about, oh, if, you know, no, we don't have a tenant identified or nothing like that. Basically, no business coming in there. We just we just going to build it and then feel the dreams, that if bitch. If you make it, they going to come. Yeah, feel the dreams, nigga. Feel the dreams. This nigga Troy Henry say he got a lawnmower. Bitch, we about to make this feel the dreams. It's over. Man, son. That's how they feel. Oh, man. I and then the albatross in, in the room is. This shit is hilarious. Is. is <coughs> the plaza still vacant? 
Lowe's that came in there and did their thing for a little while. And Dipset. But yeah, because it's like, I think what the nigga says, like 80 different owners of the plaza shit. Son. And you, it's is more. The, is it, the owner of the airbrush shop still in the yeah! game? Yeah! Still in the game! Souls to, yeah! Souls and everybody! Yeah! And that shit just about to sit there. That is terrible, son. Yeah. But unfortunately, that is the fucking yeah. story across too many parts. The of this. cheesy popcorn, nigga. That's, that's Dug it right next son, to Ronnie Burns. I want my cheese. I, want, you bitch, I don't care if you had the movie theater. Popcorn, nigga. The caramel and the cheesy. That's me. And the red green. For yeah. The airbrush nigga right across the He feel me? He feel me. Bitch, where class at? Where that's, after thought? That's def- all of us in that's here. That's definitely where we got our what? dumb ass t-shirts for the all. Man, you dumb. That's definitely where we got what? them done at. <laughs> you dumb. They out here. Give me my cheese. That's crazy. So, so then, so the whole, so the whole project is gonna be perpetually in standstill because all eight of us not about I to don't that's crazy. Tell you off of Ronnie Burns 185 square foot. I need me. I need me. That's just how I feel. <laughs> 187. 187. That's just how I feel. I need me. That's that's just how I feel. My my expenses are this. My revenue needs to be this. I need you one of these. I don't care where it come from. I need one of these seven. Period. That is crazy. That's how I feel. Son. Yeah. That's crazy. And that shit gonna just sit there. Period. Gonna just, and that's what it's been that doing. It's just sitting there. Lowe's was like, I ain't going back and forth with y'all niggas. I'm out of here. Broke the lease and everything. I'm gone. Yeah. Ain't even sweep up. I about Bitch, to say, I'm gone. I'm about to say, they damn they left tools and everything. It's over. Everything. Y'all gotta have that shit. Left mulch on the ground. All that. Not going back and forth with y'all ignorant ass niggas? No. Got time for this. But but if 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 the people whose job it was or is to represent the residents of the East, <laughs> she was. Had had, oh. a, had a com- a completely different approach to Man. So so are we concerned about jobs? Are we concerned about anchor? Uh, institutions? Are we concerned about? I'm concerned about my grocery grocery stores. I don't care what deal you struck with afterthoughts, bitch. I am for thoughts. Mine being at the (laughs) forefront of these thoughts. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care what you talk to at least what about. I don't care. Right, all American genes. What? Yes. Yes. So that's 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 kind of what's going on with the with uh that's from they a little bit, you know what I'm saying? They sit yeah. in the same same shit. That shit just gonna sit there, man. Like, uh, bitch, if I'm rumors things, I don't care what you bitch. Yeah. I built this bitch. Yeah, they definitely want their money. I built this bitch. But look look at the interest. I mean I mean we talking yeah. cheese, so that's a different kind of conversation. But look at the interest. That are, that are typically to be served in any type of engagement like that. So I say all that to say, the East got a lot going on, a lot of potential. Yes, a lot of potential. Yes, a lot going on. But you peep, she don't have no competition either, cause she just like can't trail. She hood. She know who she represent, and she get out there but and look, speak up. But look, Dave, <clears throat> if you send somebody. To the seat of power in the city, the state, the country, whatever. And you tell him, look, when you get up there, I want you to tell him people that this is what's going on in our community. This is the kind of shit that we got to deal with every day. And when they get there, they wait until all of the cameras in their face, not one. They wait until <laughs> all the cameras in their face and they go clean the fuck off. You see it on TV, you see it in a newspaper, you see it on your social media. And then you go into a booth and you have a chance to vote. Vote all them niggas. Out. Who you, who you who you gonna pick? Vote you gonna pick the person out. that that represents your issue in the dark or the light? Or you gonna rep, are you gonna pick the person who you ain't seen them since they came to your church and asked for your vote? Like who who you gonna 
Who you gonna who, who you gonna pick? That's so what I'm saying. That's where I'm at with this the at large seat. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know, dog. Some some somebody's position has to have somebody up some somebody of evidence that supports them saying that they believe X or Y. I like, met, and then that tells you which side you feel. Like, do I agree with this shit or not? Do I, I met, fuck with that or don't? I met both of them, <clears throat> and the word that comes to mind, especially in the light of this conversation, both of them. I met both of them in person. Detached, just straight up detached. Like they both were listening to me. I felt heard. But it felt like the issues with, you know, about which I was speaking, they had heard for the first time. And they were incumbents at the time. Both of them. All right. Palmer on the city council and Morrell as a state senator. All right. The issues I was speaking to them about, it, it felt like, again, like genuine interest. And I felt heard. I felt like, you know, they were trying to understand. But your shit was damn near a niche issue because you. No. Like, I was talking to Palmer about niggas, like young niggas in Treme not having no jobs. And that's why they're killing each other. But I'm saying, if you say that, that they t- that that's it was not like, it was like the first time. But if that was the first time that they heard it, to them, that would absolutely be a niche but issue. That, but uh, how is that a niche issue? And that's your whole district. But if, that's your whole district. But if you're saying that to them, it seems as if that's the first time they heard it, then that's got to be a problem. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, hmm. that's why I don't, I can't fuck with either one of them with my vote. I can't fuck with either one of them. And like I said, if, if I'm going to use detached about them, this fucking, the, the other candidate, he a fucking spaceman. He don't even realize he in the N.O. He don't even realize he in the N.O. Yeah, well, you could you could do what most people do. It's like he 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 playing like a sim game that all the gentrifiers play. Like, oh, this is the issue that pops up. This is what you say. This is the, like he's a fucking like space cadet clown. And I'm interested to see how many votes he pulls because that will let you know like okay, these people are residents of the city and are actually casting votes versus, oh, they just own the Airbnb and plant. Because I think that's kind of the pan, you know, the crowd he's trying to play with. Yeah. You know, oh, I get to live it's anywhere. Cheesy, because I get to live anywhere it's because cheesy, my job is remote huh. and I just want to pick New Orleans. Yeah, cheese. Yeah, I want to see how many votes he get. Cheese and roll. But I, I think the race is going to be, but it is between... Palmer and Morrell, and yeah, though I, I don't know. I got about a week to figure it out, but I'm definitely voting. So definitely don't misunderstand, bitch. I vote in every. I tell the people to call me on the polls and all this and that. I had a blowing nigga on the poll. He called me about uh, they don't, Cantrell. They don't call me. They don't call me about no fucking polls. Call me about Cantrell. Talking about oh. Do you agree or disagree? Bitch, that's not a true statement. I'm not answering that question. Bitch, you lying. I don't know who paying you to, to do this. I be going off on the people. Nigga was- uh, I do get the little text message. Asking me, oh, the candidate, yeah, are you- text He message. was asking me about, you know, if this person mm-hmm. ran for ad law. And nigga, I was pissed off. He, he was like, kept saying, nigga yin. I'm like, bitch, it's pronounced when. One, felt like I'm just letting you know so you don't sound ignorant. Right. The next person you call, right. you know this motherfucker kept saying nigga yin on the phone with me? Mm. I had to blow this nigga down. I'm like, now that's just disrespectful because I know you heard me just tell you how to pronounce this woman's name. So You saying that shit on purpose. No, I had to go off on so, this nigga. So, so, okay, so, so if, if, if that is represent- and that's going back to but you fucking posters. I'm my, that, my but bad. That, but that that that's my, representative. My bad. But you're but you're still that's still representative of the attitude that I'm talking about when oh, I yeah. say, you know, 
Like, you just do what you got to do to get somebody's vote, then your ability to really represent the issues when it comes time for you to roll your sleeves up and fucking put a little it's fucking shoulder to the grindstone. They don't give no. a fuck about that, man. What I talked about in the last pod, uh, two podcasts, these fucking posters, I don't want to hear shit about you was just doing your job, you a political strategist, no bitch. Y'all are part of the motherfucking problem. problem. Definitely. And if y'all want to keep being like, oh, it's just business, that's how I earn a living, motherfuckers going to find out who y'all are. This actual democracy shit, this actual doxing you and canceling your motherfucking ass and calling you out at dinner in front of your children, if you're not ready to handle that shit like Cantrell, bitch, quit. Off top. Because that shit coming. It's coming. All y'all mother gerrymandering, lowering motherfuckers. But it's got to come. coming for y'all it's, too. It's got to come to these coward ass it's Democrats. It's coming for you. And, it's got to come to them. I feel like. They, ha- they have to be called out by the people. Period. Who elect their asses and send and them. And you right, dog. They they have to be called out. And they got to be called Man, out with the, same, the with the same with the same visceral name? anger and the same with the same love that people send them off to represent them when they don't come through or they don't stand firm on the issues that benefit the people that elected their ass. Congressman get called out too. been not doing shit in New Orleans forever. Congressman from New Orleans. That's how much of a whole unknown pussy-ass Democrat you are. You in the safest motherfucking Democratic district in the motherfucking country. And your pussy ass ain't say shit about nothing, period, since you've been elected. What this whole ass nigga name is? Mm-hmm. Google don't even want to bring your fucking ass up. That's how much of a hoe you are. I Look, congressman from New Orleans, Google having a problem finding your fucking ass. That ain't the N.O. Mm-hmm. came up Cedric Richmond. You... Oh, you a hoe. Yeah, it's, you a hoe. Didn't, 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 didn't somebody Google fill that seat? Google think the congressman from New Orleans somebody, right now. That seat was filled. And Cedric Richmond. That seat was filled. Whoever you are, you a hoe. That seat was definitely filled. Bottom fair. line. That seat was definitely filled. Bottom line. Definitely that seat. That's how I feel. I'm in the fucking show over. You a hoe. The congressman, Google think the congressman from New Orleans hey. is Cedric Richmond. You realize Wooda started pouring a drink. Who said, who said fucking somebody said show You are a man done. Show. <laughs> Boy, you are all hope. So, yeah, that was the go off of all go offs. But, but that, that, proves, oh, that proves my point. That definitely proves the point that there's absolutely no way in hell that these people are supposed to be representing. The people who got daily lives and have challenges all day. All day. People fa- people have you tough have. lives and people facing all kind of Brett, every day. It's understood. It's understood. What the phone say? Cedric His Richmond. Louisiana second oh, congressional oh, district. That bitch definitely say, say hold on. It's a preceded by Naomi White Falls, preceded by Joseph Cobb, but it don't have the person who filled the seat. So yeah. So that 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 goes to the point that I'm saying these people, you know, they 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 feckless, you know what I'm saying? They 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 come to the table representing people, got all kinds of challenges in their daily lives, and they don't bring no energy. And when they have a chance to fight and really show some backbone, they intentionally decide not to. So that's the kind of shit that the go off is absolutely against. Um, as evidenced by Dave, just completely, you know what I'm saying, losing his shit right quick. Um, and that's how I feel every time I watch the news and I see Democrats being put on TV. Um, I do the same thing he did, but y'all don't get to see that. So um, so just, you know, anytime you're watching MSNBC or CNN, just imagine me doing probably what he just did. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, so yeah, Dave is gone, so I can't dab him off again. So that's the go off. Um, Wu back there making a sandwich. He just started pouring a drink. Um, so I guess we'll see y'all on the next one. Go off. Holla.